I am honored and privileged today to introduce our commencement speaker, Ms. Paula Gold Williams. Ms. Paula Gold Williams graduated from St. Mary's University with a bachelor's degree in accounting. She has a master's of business administration degree from Regis University and is a certified public accountant. Ms. Paula Gold Williams has 25 years of corporate leadership experience in San Antonio, including as vice president of finance with Luby's and regional controller for Time Warner. During her 12 years at CPS Energy, she has worn many hats, including controller and assistant treasurer, vice president and chief administrative officer, executive vice president and chief financial officer and treasurer. This past July, Paula Gold Williams was unanimously voted in by CPS Energy's board to be the new president and chief executive officer for CPS Energy. Upon her selection, she told the San Antonio Express News, quote, it is clear we will focus on what is good for the community. When your owners are your neighbors and peers, it's important to do the right thing. We have more than 3,000 employees who do the right thing every day. Ms. Gold Williams' excellent leadership is rooted in values, innovation, and community. Outside of CPS Energy, as chair of the Advisory Committee of Executives for the Greehe School of Business at her alma mater here at St. Mary's, Paula Gold Williams is involved with helping the school to continue to innovate and develop its education and service programs. She serves on numerous boards and is an advisory trustee for Southwest Research Institute and FM Global. She's also a member of the San Antonio Medical Foundation. Awards are many. I'll name just a few. Paula Gold Williams was recently honored this year with the San Antonio Business Journal's Elite Executive CEO Distinction. She's received the San Antonio Women's Chamber of Commerce Constellation of Stars Award. She was appointed as Honorary Joint Base San Antonio Commander in 2014 and received Best CFO and Finance Awards from the San Antonio Business Journal in La Prenza. Paula Gold Williams and her husband, Eddie, wave Eddie, here's Eddie, <laughs> have two daughters, and I am honored and privileged to invite to the podium Ms. Paula Gold Williams. You know, that took a long time, didn't it? I am never absolutely comfortable in uh, going back over my history. And uh, as I was getting myself ready for today, there were a few folks that, that walked up to me and shook my hand and, and welcomed me and thanked me. Uh, the biggest thing I want to do and start out with first is my thanks to you. Um, when you, when you start out, uh, period, not even thinking about college, um, and then you go through life, along the way you're not always in the moment. But I would tell you that where I am now, I am in the moment, and I speak to the graduating class to tell you to absolutely be in the moment. Um, a few individuals who introduced themselves today were, were students. Uh, some of them in their junior year um, and, and earlier. And, and one person didn't really know exactly who I was and they were asking questions. And they found out that I was a graduate and they said, when, when did you graduate? Which, uh, you don't understand this today, but when you've been out here this long and people ask you how long it's been, it, gets, it starts to sound really old. But I said, uh, I graduated in 1984, and, I, and right away I knew when I looked, I said, of course, this is well before you were born, right? <laughs> and, um, and in reality, she said, yep. <laughs> um, again, uh, as you're here uh, graduating, many of you going straight from high school to college, uh, these are the, the experiences that later on uh, will mean something to you as you, you go forward. Um, but, but I would tell you, even though I've been out here for over 30 years working, in reality, I feel like it was just yesterday that I had the opportunity to go to this fine institution. But to get here was not easy. I, like many of you, 
was the first person in my immediate family to go all the way to college. And I'm the youngest of four kids. And my father, um, who served in the military, of which that gave me such a foundation, um, was not able to go to college right away. He went into the military so that he could have money to send home to his parents and their family. And then he raised kids. And when he got out of, of the military after serving for 24 years, he tried to go back. And he found he could not. Uh, it was just too hard to have family and, and try to make a living and go back to school. So I was the first one. And I couldn't get to St. Mary's right away. I didn't have a great plan. We didn't have a great plan. I, I started out at San Antonio College. I got some small scholarships. And, and I ultimately was lucky enough to turn left when I should have turned right, and I got a chance to interview for a transfer scholarship to come to St. Mary's. And I interviewed, and I had no idea whether or not I was going to get it. Matter of fact, I didn't really think I would. And, and I did get it. And next thing you know, I'm here on campus. And that's meaningful. This campus didn't look like this when I went here. There were, this building was not here. Um, but it meant so much. I went straight to the School of Business and started to really work really hard. And ultimately, I graduated. And, but, but I want to tell you, that's a big pause in there from a graduation standpoint. I remember being adamant about getting my degree and getting my courses and moving forward. And I, I want to say this to you that are graduating today, maybe it's not as meaningful about what you just did. You attended a values-based university that cared about you, that created a curriculum and different pathways for you to have options to think about your career. And you open a book or you now you look online and you see all these courses and all these teachers lined up for you. And that amount of effort that they take to make sure that the coursework is current, that they're connecting with relevant topics, and that they're handing you education, at the time it didn't mean as much as it meant today. And matter of fact, to put it in current speak, the way I think about it is the professors and the educators and the officers and the board members, they are your Jedis, right? Movie's coming out soon, so I have to go ahead and put it in there. Um, they're your Jedis. They are giving you and building the force within you. They are giving you the foundation to be able to, to fight the good fight and take on the new challenges. And they're there to make you think about how to be better than you ever thought you could be. And by far, that's what the, the faculty and staff did for me. As I progressed in my career, and you heard the accolades, I had no idea where my career would take me. But I realized that St. Mary's University gave me that foundation. They, it gave me the force to think that I could succeed. Where no one in my family had been successful before, that's what I got. And so accordingly, a little bit of advice to you as you move forward. Um, I'll, you know, more than likely, it doesn't have to take you 30 years to do what I did. Um, this school really teaches you about entrepreneurship and, and challenge and thinking things on. But the biggest thing I'll tell you, whether you use the, go through the corporate route or whether or not you are going to start your own business, the biggest thing is hard work, confidence, saying yes, and being creative in the moment. If you doubt yourself, don't sit there for a long time doubting yourself. Nobody's perfect. You're going to make mistakes. I could give you a whole lecture on all the mistakes I made. I would tell you, though, for every mistake I made, I always, again, thought about my foundation and thought that was some of additional learning that I got and pushed forward for the next opportunity. And that's what's really in front of you. Um, initially, also, today, uh, I got a question from a multiple people. You recognize that you only need to talk for a few minutes. Um, and there's always this fear that the person who's the keynote is going to talk forever, and I won't. Um, 
but, but I did want to instill on you, again, you've got a great foundation, you've got a great network, and you, you have a home. St. Mary's has been a home for me for all of these years. I've traveled the world, I've gone to Japan, I've gone to South Korea, I've gone to different places, particularly in the, in the case of energy. Energy is going to change and be a different, different vehicle for you. It will continue to be your base of light and source 24-7, 365, but our goal is to make it more flexible for you, give you more tools and more options. But, but at that same time, I love to come back here to St. Mary's and I spend some, some quality time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say Dean Tanuja Singh has been an absolute joy to work with over the years and come back. But that's in addition to even coming back and seeing one of my professors, Professor Sedke. Oh, you know, it's my, everybody's like, oh my God, they were here together, that's been so long. Um, and we're still alive kicking it. Um, but that's the richness. This school has been around for a very, very long time and it'll be around for a very long time in the future. Never forget your home. Come back. Spend some time on campus. Give back. Help, help those behind you who, who are working really hard to get a degree and also make their family members proud as well. Now, in closing, I would tell you that this uh, ceremony is even more meaningful me, to me than you think. 30 plus years ago, when I had an opportunity to graduate, I was also a fall grad. And, uh, and, and you know, your, your memory gets fuzzy, so I, I said to myself, I think I remember this. But there was, was not a fall ceremony. And, uh, uh, when President Mingler said the 16th year anniversary, I felt like I had the right facts then. Um, so I didn't, I didn't walk, and I didn't come to the ceremony, and I started working right away in January. I got an invitation to come back in May, but by that time, I was happily married to my husband, and um, I was working really hard, and I thought, you know, I'll, I'll survive if I don't walk. And I have survived, and I always thought that not walking was just an opportunity that I would never have had in my life. And when I do go to graduations, I feel a little bit that I've lost, but, but didn't think I was gonna get here. An additional gift you have given me today is to be on stage with you and celebrate with you a graduation. So deep, deep, deep inside, I feel like this is my graduation and I'm gonna share it with you today. Once again, enjoy the moment, it is significant. You have accomplished so much and you have so many people, friends and family and neighbors and, and parents who are just so happy <laughs> that you've graduated. Um, this is your support system, we are here for you today and we are beyond proud. Go conquer the world and show us how it's done. To, and I'll be hopefully around, maybe not at the next 30 years, but I'll be around campus, and I really, really look forward to your successes. Thank you so much.